Hi guys, it's Lindsay here, and if you have been following Inside the Hem on Instagram or Twitter, then you know I've been obsessed with making shorts lately. Um, I have always had an issue getting um, shorts that fit well from ready-to-wear stores. Um, so naturally making my own makes sense. However, um, getting the perfect pattern for shorts isn't always cut and dry either. So I decided I was going to take one pattern and I was going to make it perfect and sew the perfect shorts. And so after I had done probably like seven muslins, I was ready to purchase fabric. And at that point I realized I had a whole other issue on my hands and that was finding the perfect fabric for shorts because you need something that doesn't have any stretch and, but is the right weight for a short. I mean you wouldn't want to use a uh, thin quilting cotton or any other thin woven because that would just not work for shorts. You need something with um, some heft to it. Um, so I did what anyone does and they go to the local stores, couldn't buy anything, went online, couldn't find much of anything, and so I was sort of at a loss. I had gone on to some of my favorite ready-to-wear stores websites and found out that most of the shorts they sell have like two or three percent stretch in them. And that was discouraging because I knew that that wasn't what I was looking for. I think that they, they make their shorts and those fabrics because of the sizing and they want to try and help make the sizes fit as many people as possible so that stretch gives them a little bit of leeway but also that ends up just being a baggy short at the end of the day you know all that wear that a that a short takes you know with the crotch and everything else um it just ends up looking not so great at the end of the day so back to non-stretch wovens again um, so what I ended up doing was I went to Fashion Fabrics Club and I did find a twill that I really liked. The problem mostly that I had with buying or looking online was that either the fabric wasn't um, like the right weight, it was either too light like a quilting cotton or it was too heavy like a drapery fabric. Um, and if I found one that was the right weight I just didn't think it was cute and at the end of the day I still want to have really cute shorts that fit really well and wear really well. Um, so I was able to find one um, good shorts fabric from Fashion Fabrics Club that I'll talk about in a second but I knew I wanted to make more of them if I had spent all this time on figuring out the shorts pattern I knew I would want to make multiples of them. Here in South Carolina you can wear shorts really anywhere to the nicest restaurants to work even some if your work is really casual or even business casual you can get away with shorts um so I knew I would be able to wear multiples of them so I went on Instagram um style maker fabrics actually had commented on one of my muslin pictures and so I just asked her hey can you help me do you have anything in your store that would be good and I was shock she sent me she was like my personal shopper she just went into her basement and started pulling out all of these fabrics that would be great for bottom weight um or shorts fabric um she sent me so many options i had to really narrow it down and resist from buying all of them um so i'm going to cover those three that she gave to, that she suggested to me and the ones that i actually purchased um from her as well so first things first um, the, I think most common type of shorts fabric you're going to find is probably a twill. Um, a twill fabric is one that is weaved in a certain way. When you look at it, it has like a diagonal weave to it. If you look really closely. Um, and that's what I ended up getting from fashion fabrics club. It's actually one that is printed with a print on it, um, to look like an ECAT dot. Um, but it's not actually ECAT. You can see on the wrong side. It's totally printed, totally dyed. Um, but I did think this was a really cute print and I know that Twill is a good mid-weight fabric for shorts. Um, it's a little crunchy now because I haven't pre-washed this one yet. But um, it does have a softer side on the other side. It'll, I should have washed it before I did this, but it'll be interesting to see how it washes up. I think a lot of that waxiness from the right side will kind of go away. But you can definitely see the diagonal weave in there and you can tell there's absolutely no stretch going on. And you can kind of get an idea for the drape and structure that a twill 
that a twill has. So I thought this one was really cute. Cotton twill I think is a good option for shorts fabric. You're going to have a hard time finding one without any stretch in it and you're going to have a hard time finding one that's cute. Um, but I will leave a link for this one down below if you want to buy this one we can be shorts twins. Not a problem with me at all. Okay, now to the Style Maker Fabrics selection. So she has twills as well, um, but she also has brushed twill. And so that is what this is. Um, and brushed twill on the opposite side has like almost like a fuzzy, furry feel to it. I mean, it's very, very soft. Um, this one has already been pre-washed, so you can kind of get a better idea for the drape. I've actually already made shorts out of these two, so they're all, this is just a scrap. It's all cut up. But you can see, um, on the right side, it is a little bit, like, slubby. Like, it has, like, a little bit of picks and pulls in it, um, which is okay. It just gives it some texture. You know, I don't mind that at all. It's just the, the type of twill that it is. But um, again, you can kind of get an idea for the drape and how structured it is. But again, it is a non-stretch woven fabric. This isn't going anywhere. Um, as I wore the shorts that I made, they did relax a little bit, but not nearly as much as what you would find with like a little like 2 or 3% stretch in them. And I just thought this color was gorgeous. She has a ton of other colors too. Um, I had pulled it up here. This one is called Cerise, I think, C-E-R-I-S-E. -E. But she also has like a jade, a citronelle, goldenrod, cayenne, natural, cappuccino, hazelnut. She has a ton. So um, you'll have to go on her website and see. I think most of the brush twills are $11.99 a yard which I mean for shorts you need like maybe a yard and a half at most. This pattern that I called for was a yard and a quarter and I still had some left over. Um, I had all this left over to be exact. Um, so I mean $15 shorts that fit perfectly, I, I, that's not a problem for me at all. Which is probably why I decided to buy the next fabric <laughs> because this one is a little bit pricier but I'm so happy I splurged and got it. I was a little unsure as to really what it was or what I was going to be getting, but I love the print so much that I knew I would be able to use it for something else if it didn't work for shorts. And it is a Japanese cotton dobby. And again, um, dobby just refers to the way that it's woven. Um, dobby, you can tell from looking at it because it has almost a very distinct geographic, uh, geometric design to it. There's almost like squares um, woven into the fabric. Again, it gives it kind of like a slubby texture like the twill did. Um, and then this one is a printed version with really cute flowers that are like different shades of teal and blue and green and sea foam and things like that. So this one is, um, I would say lighter for sure than the twill, but not by much. It's also thinner. Maybe that's more of what it is. Thinner than the twill, um, but it has like really great drape to it that you can see there. But it's still very structured, completely non-stretch. Um, let's see what her website says about it. Um, beautiful texture and structure without a lot of weight. That's exactly what it is. Texture and structure with, without a lot of weight. So um, these are going to be thinner shorts, which is okay, um, so long as they are structured still. Um, thinner can be better, you know, just to deal with the hot temperature. Sometimes you don't want a really thick fabric. But even if you didn't want to make shorts with this, this is going to make a beautiful A-line skirt. It would be a beautiful fit and flare dress. I mean, this Japanese cotton dobby is really really nice and i wish my grandmother was still around because the selvage actually has japanese printing on it and i would love to know what it says i'm sure it's just the manufacturer or whatever but um it's still really cool i'll actually probably save this selvage to make something out of it i don't know what i just think it's really neat to have those characters on there considering it's part of my heritage but um so the japanese cotton dobby on her site it comes in 44 inch width, so you have to keep that in mind when you're um, when you're buying this. It's going to be narrower, so you're going to need more than you would for a 60 inch width fabric. And it's $21.99 a yard, <laughs> which I know is a, if you think about it like that, it is a lot. But if you think about going into Ann Taylor or any of those stores and buying shorts, 
you're easily gonna pay that. I mean, yes, you can wait till they're on clearance and get them for dirt cheap or whatever, but I think that investing in good quality fabrics that are gonna hold up and also having a pattern that you know is gonna fit you really well, it's okay to splurge on a $22 a yard fabric, in my opinion, especially when you balance it out. Like, you know, high end, low end, do you kind of, I don't know. I'm, this is just girl math, really. I'm just trying to justify $22 a yard fabric, but it is really gorgeous and I'm totally happy with it. No buyer's remorse whatsoever. So she also recommended a suiting. Now, suiting is a generic term that can mean all kinds of things. Suitings can have wool in them, they can have cotton in them, they can have synthetic fibers in them. So not all suiting is created equal. You can't just go online and type in suiting and buy whatever pops up. You really need to pay attention to the kind of weight of suiting that it is and um, the material that is used to make it will often determine that. Um, so this is a mini houndstooth suiting. It's navy and white. Um, it's kind of, it's a very dark navy, so almost reads black. She does have a black and white version of this as well, but this is cotton polyester. Oh, I'm sorry. It's polyester rayon, um, poly rayon suiting. So what is, that is going to produce is a, this feels more like the twill, um, but it has a lot of structure and it is for sure a mid weight fabric. Um, I don't, it's kind of dizzying now that I'm <laughs> now that I'm looking at it up close. From far away, though, I think that it's gonna kind of read as like a light blue, which is what I really liked about it on the website. Um, anyway, so it has a lot of structure. It does have some weight to it, um, but it doesn't have any texture to it like the twill or the do or the dolby does. Um, it's hard to discern a right side from a wrong side because of the way that it's woven. It's not printed. It's woven this way. So, um, so yeah, it's really good quality. It feels like, um, very smooth to the hand and just, I think it's going to make the perfect shorts. I think these would, this pat, this fabric in particular, I think would also make really great cigarette pants because it has that structure that you need. I think the Dobby would be too light. And I actually think that the, the brushed twill would be too heavy. Um, but this one would make perfect, perfect cigarette pants. You know, those ones that really taper at, to the ankle. Um, so if you're looking at something like that, I would consider this suiting from Stylemaker Fabrics. And this one is just $12.99 a yard. So totally reasonable. Again, very affordable shorts that I'm going to be making with this. Okay, so those are four different fabrics that you could use for any bottom bottom half uh, pattern that you're that you're using. I picked all these specifically for shorts, um, but you could easily make, you know, structured pants with them, cigarette pants like I already mentioned, um, or even like an A-line skirt or something like that. But these are my picks for um, shorts fabric. I will have four new pairs of shorts that you will be able to check out very soon. Um, there are a lot of really great shorts patterns out there. Of course, the big four has their versions. They probably have multiple versions. You could easily go on their websites and search for those. The indie shorts patterns that we really love are the Colette Iris shorts, the Grainline Maritime shorts, um, the Scallop shorts, Gallop shorts by Pattern Runway and the Hepburn shorts by uh, Pattern Emporium. So Hepburn shorts, Irish shorts, Maritime shorts, and the Scallop shorts are four really good indie shorts patterns that would work well for these non-stretch wovens. Um, so be sure to check those out. I'll leave links down below where you can kind of check out those styles. There's also a new uh, shorts pattern coming to market very soon, uh, possibly at the end of this month. It's the Chi Town Chinos. And those were the ones that kind of inspired this whole project of mine. Um, they are by Alina uh, Design and & Co. And they are your kind of traditional, relaxed fit, kind of everyday walking short. Um, and I really love them. So be on the lookout for the Chi Town Chinos from Alina and um, sure we'll share something about that on Instagram as well. So if you don't follow us, be sure to follow us. We are at Inside the Hem. 
But before I go, one other really bit of exciting news. I hope you're still sticking with me. I've been really, really rambly in this video for some reason. Um, Stylemaker Fabrics has a coupon code that I want to share with you guys. She set up um, for us, it is summer one six, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, summer one six, and that will get you five dollars off a purchase of twenty five dollars or more. So if you're going to make shorts, you buy a couple yards of one of these fabrics, and you get five dollars off. Um, she has flat rate shipping. It comes super fast. I want to say I ordered it on Saturday, and it was here on Tuesday or something like that. She did a fantastic job helping me with these shorts. I never ever would have picked um, these. Maybe the twills I would have, but I would have been a little bit like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. So um, yeah, she's just super, super helpful and I couldn't thank her enough. So go um, be sure to check out her website, check out these fabrics that I found um, and use Summer 16 to save $5 off of your next purchase. So until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.